it was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. Just want to experience something else than a black man. Move on, move on. like a host of blinkers. Honestly, say, I was about to have sex and then I pulled Crap, but it's nice. My name is Keenan, Cleophas, and I'm th I'm 14 years old, and I love in Evero, Rocklands, number 10. My name is Edwina, my surname is Liebenberg. I'm 14 years old. I the first love in Google Data and I love here in the Rocklands. My name is Jamie Cleofest and I'm 15 years old and I love in Rocklands, 10 Everest Street in Mitchell's Hi, my name is Marika Mayberg. I am 15 years old and I live in Rocklands, Mitchell's Plain. Hi, my name is Kudusia Abrams. I'm 15 years old. I live in Rocklands, Hinkleton. Hi, my name is Kim. I'm 16 years old. I first live in Lansdowne, I live in Mitchell's Plain, 20 in Goro. The first time I did to do drugs, I did get a lolly in my daddy's pocket. My daddy do drugs. I get a lolly in his pocket. And so, I did see my friends do drugs. They used to do that, but I didn't want to do that. But so when I got the lolly in my daddy's pocket, so I did smoke, smoke it, so I did feel liquor. So afterwards, so I, I was a drug addict. My first time I started smoking on cigarettes was when I was with my cousin at the party. <coughs> they gave me too much alcohol and I didn't know what was going on, but then they forced me to smoke cigarettes. So I also, I was wrong also listening after them because I didn't know what's right and wrong. But I just tried it just to become in the, to fit in with them. So I tried, but it's not right. First, I did smoke um, oka pipe, so they throw the rugs in, so I thought it wasn't nice. I started smoking cigarettes and and the weed, taka. I, I was 11 years old and I started smoking the cigarette because I went with my friends to parties and then I saw they smoking cigarettes and that stuff. So when I turned 13 years old, I started smoking pouches, it's also weed. And so, I, my friends also used to do that. And I was smoking that the whole time and the whole time. So, I began hanging out with gangsters. So, I started smoking a pipe or something. And I used to um, hang out with them, walking and doing the wrong stuff or so. And they went to go shoot, and I went to them, and I almost started to be a gangster. There's no one in this community that set the example for you, and no, there's no one to look up to. So it's very hard for the people that we have to be in the good route because there's no one that can set the example for you in this community. It's very, it's very hard to be a teenager in this because it's rough, and there's lots of people that do drugs pregnant children and getting pregnant and things is the reason why the children is like that because their parents don't care about them maybe their mom is on drugs or the daddy or whoever is on drugs it's hard for us to tell us mommy to stop that because they already in that it's in them no matter what they hurt us we also if we see our mothers do that we also gonna go after them even though we're telling them mommy is not right and mommy we tell our mommy stuff, they won't still listen to us because that's already in their brain, so they will just go on doing that. They won't care because that's what drugs do to them. Sometimes it's hard for youngsters to stop doing this stuff because their mothers be every, if their mothers is every day drunk and the daddies is rook, then they don't still care of you. I was brought up hard because every time when I, when I come after school or anything, then my daddy is drunk. He didn't us up because he us every night because I'm supposed to be in a higher grade when I'm in now. Because when every time when we go get our homework of everything there for the school, then we come home, then my daddy abuse us every time. He does on a head with anything what is in front of him. Even if we smoke or something. It's uh, so hot. When I was young, my parents, they were always drunk, smoking performing in the house too. And the reason why I'm almost also now, still in grade seven, but I, I passed in grade seven to grade eight now, because um, my parents, they always perform in the house late, 
performance and that stuff. And then they fight in the house too. And then I failed once, grade one, and I failed grade, grade six was the worst because no one actually cared about us in the house. It was only me, my small brother and my two brother, no, one brother and a sister. And my sister, she loved by a boyfriend. She didn't also care about us, just sometimes when she buy food for us. My mommy doesn't work and my daddy also doesn't work, but they drinking and smoking. And my mommy didn't care about us, so I failed twice in grade six. The worst thing that had happened to me was when my parents abused me. They did always abuse me when I was little. And then I cry some, when I have blue eyes and stuff. And then I don't go to school. Then I cry. So when my, mom, my mother and my father separated, they divorced. And so I was living with my mommy. And in that time, when I failed grade six, but I'm now going to grade nine, I failed that year is because my, they didn't, my new stepmother didn't want me to come to my daddy and spend time with my daddy that time. And then that was always on my mind to school and it took my mind off my schoolwork and, and all that. So I couldn't even concentrate that time. And then my mom, and my mommy was a single parent. She, she didn't work and she still had to go look and borrow money to, to support me with food every night. And that was really rough when my daddy had a job and he, he's, he was too into his new girlfriend that he didn't even worry about me. Some teenagers don't have mothers and they think uh, it's a right to do wrong stuff and all that. Some of them does have mothers, but the mothers don't care of them. The mothers want to hear nothing. That's why the teenagers do wrong stuff because the mothers don't care for them. Even Some though my, my father do drugs, I can show him that I am a better person. You see? I show him, I, I don't have to do what he do, the same things that he do, I can also change. One time I did, I did speak um, to my daddy, when it was a time when he was drunk, and I did ask him why is he doing this stuff, and why can't he do a better thing in life, and stop doing drugs. And before I was the first one to know that my daddy did do drugs. And I told, and so my mom made look at my daddy used to ride van, trips from um, airport, so, um, private, and so I saw in, in his pocket he was at work, so I looked in his van, the under the seat was a lolly or so, and he leave it there, that time I was still on primary school, hmm? afterwards I find another he one, but before he told me it was his friends, but it wasn't his friends, it wasn't his friends, he did lie to me, told me it was his friends, so afterwards, my daddy stopped his job, he stopped being, being my mechanic. So I looked. So I, did, so I did look in his pocket, so I saw the lolly, and it was white, the whole thing was white. It's like a glass thing, with a, um, it looked like a cloak with a hole. So I did smoke it, and where the white was, and I did burn the white, and so I did start smoking it. Was you can't go give your mommy and to the police and say, um, your mommy did hit you for that and you showed the blue marks because your mommy had a reason to hit you. Because sometimes you, you do need your mommy. If your mommy's going to hit you, then you send her away. You're going to think back and say, why did I send her mommy away? Then you're going to need your mommy. So you can't go to the police and go say about that stuff. For me, I just want to change this community because and the, in this community, there's a gang called Paparatis, different gangs, it's like Root Boys, Bad Boys, Play Boys, everything. I just want, for me, it's so hard for them because they live in the same area. Why are they fighting against each other? Why can't they change? That's a, for me, I want to change this community here yeah, by stop of this gangsterism because through them that we can't even come in this area, we can't even have fun in the road anymore because we are scared to come outside because what if they start shooting at each other? So my thing for my aim to change this community is by speaking to them and letting them change their lives, stop with this gangsterism and drugging and smoking all that weed and drinking also. And the parents have to stand with us to even though we stand together here, they won't still listen because they want, they just, they are too much influenced by those gangsters here in this.
community. Gang. Once you're in the gang, you can't you, get, you can't get out, out of the gang. Like I'm now. I'm the, the TS guys, they, they didn't yet leave me because they still care about me and they think I'm still with them. People, people can't just get out of gangs. gangs. If they take this chappy, the stamp, if they take the stamp and then there's no there's one door in and there's no doors out. Like me, I'm still a Westsider. You see? And we we fight the so the people, they shoot and whatever. We I'm worth, but I'm I'm still a gangster. There's no doors out for me, but still man, I can change still my life. And so I realize if I'm not gonna listen to my parents, stop hanging out with gangsters. I'm not gonna change my life anymore. So I stop hanging out Kino. with the people I imagine I'm supposed to hang out with, <coughs> with boys only. And they call the these guys and they were bad influence. So I just left them for girls, girls for now I'm with them, but I don't do drugs anymore. If I did have money, then I will give this one gangsters group money and the other gang, then I will tell them, here's money, and then they can just stop bothering the children because uh, the, the, if they shoot on each other, they can hurt any innocent person. So the, I'll just give them the money, then they can stop and do whatever they want with the money, just to stop. If I have millions, I will help all the poor children for me. I was also poor once, and now, if I have millions, I want to help the youngsters to grow up good, study and that stuff, one day when they pick, go wherever they want to do, whatever they want to do and that stuff, but they mustn't just do drugs and start drinking, smoking and that stuff. If I should have money, I would go to all the, the drug dealers and I would sort of tell them to leave the stuff Leave the tracks, don't sell it, because you can <coughs> do it, uh, many things to innocent persons. You can uh, give them now the tracks. They're gonna smoke at night, they're gonna come all the time, they bring friends. They're gonna tell their friends, look here, here's a place, you can smoke now. But I just want to tell them, I want to give you some money and leave all the stuff that you're doing now. And also the bad guys, also, like the gangsters, all the gangsters. I just want to give them money, stop what they're doing now. Like the HLs, the naughty boys, the bad boys, playboys, and the wizards, the Americans. If I would have money, I would give it as a donation to each and everyone in this community because that, with that money, they can at least buy them something to eat that they're not be starving every night, that they can buy them clothes to wear. And I will also tell them the money that I'm giving you is, is not for wrong stuff. It's must, it's must, um, it's for good only for good stuff because with that money they can also pay rent and each and everyone that's on the streets can even bowl them a window to just let them sleep on somewhere under the roof. If I would have money, I would open a feeding scheme. Okay. My dream is for my mommy to come back to us and take care of us. My dream is for my daddy to come off drugs. My big dream is for my mommy to stop drinking and concentrating on the children and family and being with my daddy and having a big family with my family, my brother, my sister and me and my mommy and my daddy. Nice going out to places and all that stuff. My dream is for my mommy and my daddy to become a going together. My dream and my wish is for my mommy and my daddy to get together because they can't love so separated. My dream was, I dream about us, or my daddy and my mommy. I had a dream that they were getting back together, leaving the tracks, all the stuff. And so I also did, thought it was a better thing to do. So they was getting now back together, having a good life. They was working for us, not for people outside, cancers or anything, they're working for us.
You should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create a straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger Listen what is right and say what is wrong You should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create a straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger Listen what is right and say what is wrong